There we go. Hey, look at here we are. You get you get to see Kathy and I, but you don't get to see the the dogs. I'll I'll do a turnaround cast so everybody okay. can see our cute little pooches. Kathy's got two adorable little poodles, and of course everybody knows Finny. Um, yeah, so we are in Dundas Valley, and we're doing a walk, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about self care because I was listening to one of my favorite YouTubers. It's um, a girl called Chelsea on the financial diet and she mentioned that sometimes we call things self-care and they're not. They're like self-sabotage. And I thought, oh my God, that's so true. So, <laughs> Kath, what do you think? What do you do for self-care, Kath? Well, today we're going for a hike. Yeah. This so this is beautiful. Yeah, this is a perfect, you know, exercise is an example of self-care. Um, what isn't an example is, you know, laying on the couch and doing Netflix for the whole night with a bottle of wine. Now, are you going to do that once in a while? Sure. Why not? But don't call it self-care. It's more like rest and relaxation or maybe self-sabotage <laughs> or self-indulgence. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, sometimes we're going to choose to do that and that's cool. But if you're interested in doing self-care, I'm suggesting that you choose something that is actually self-care like doing food prep um, I, here's here's a little caveat I think real self-care sometimes has a difficult part to it so it's not all you know indulgence self-care sometimes means working out when you don't feel like it or doing food prep so that you can have a healthy week um, Meditation. Right, exactly, Kath. Meditation. Um, what else can we think of? Um, I'm walking, walking and thinking is clearly not one of my strengths. So um, I've written a blog and it, it's underneath. It's, uh, it's in the description box below, so you can check that out. But my point really is just saying, you know, make sure you do self-care, but make sure it really is self-care and it's not self-indulgence because I think there were a number of times I used to get myself vegan treats and say, oh, I deserve it. I need to look after myself once in a while, you know? I would dupe myself into believing that I, it was some form of self-care when in fact it wasn't. And that's cool. Nothing wrong with once in a while having a treat and laying on the couch and doing a Netflix weekend, but make sure you're not duping yourself into thinking it's self-care because it's not. And self-care sometimes can be a little bit part of it can be a little bit hard like tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some food prep and uh, I could I maybe I won't feel like it but I'm gonna do it anyway do as much as I can you know so self-care get it straight do it and uh, just choose things that are gonna benefit your life that are gonna make you feel healthy and vital and help with the aging process, eh, hey, Kath? Sure. Kathy and I are just having a big aging discussion because mm. we are both in our late 50s, hard to say, hard to imagine, but we are. And we wanna, we wanna, you know, move into those 60s feeling energized and healthy, and that's gonna require self-care. So, anyway, hello from Dundas Valley, and uh, don't forget to do some self-care today.